the way this is going to start, I usually introduce um, my slides and I decided to put Gavin in it because in my last presentation on stage, I had Gavin opening the presentation. And if Gavin knows what Google My Business is, then I believe we all should know what Google My Business <laughs> is. Google My Business is a free tool that helps to uh, improve your business uh, by increasing your audience and reach out to more people and therefore reaching out to more people. Uh, we create a snowball effect in creating more leads for you, therefore a conversion into more business. What do you think is good marketing? Making the phone ring. Bingo. Thank you for that answer. That's your job. Yeah? In my opinion, is to stay in the top of people's minds. I see you obviously do an action, you take an action versus... That is good marketing. Yeah? Uh, I think a lot of what Carmen said, it's showing that you're the expert, staying relevant, staying top of mind, so when they need you or your services, they know who to go to. Good. Good answer. Good marketing is growth. We all start with a little bit here, and we all want to go all the way here. As you can see, I put a slide between dirt, money, and leaves. It makes sense, because that's how we all start. We gotta put a little bit of money in it, we gotta put a little bit of dirt, like hard work, and we gotta watch the progress, and then you get from a little bit to all the way. So to me, the answer that I would give you today, is good marketing is growth. If you don't have good marketing, that means you don't have growth. If you see that your marketing team that you partner with provides you growth, and growth can be in your audience, and your audience also means more leads, and more leads means more conversion. More conversion means more money. So that also is a good answer, but all of you had a good answer. Phone ring is growth. You're right, be on top of the head is contribute to being growth, yeah? So keep in mind, when you sign up with whoever does your marketing, say, I want to grow. Otherwise, don't do marketing. Because you don't need it. If you don't want to grow, why would you do it? Today, I'm going to talk about Google Slide, the Google My Business, for a reason. I was able to identify over the course of many uh, years where we're missing out on audience. As you can see here, it comes with no surprise that Google is the most visited website. The most people are pretty much on Google. There are other search engines such as Bing, Yahoo, Quora, I can go in and go. Now the relevancy of that, it's important because there are people still searching there. Does it mean is your ideal client on those platforms? We don't know that. What we know is that the most search are conducted on Google. So to put a number on it, Google is visited monthly about 92 point billion times. And this is just in the United States. So think about it, Google is number one, YouTube is number two, Facebook right now is number three, and then it goes from there. So how is your business going to be found in such a crowded audience? Well, here's my answer, which you see in my slide. You become so good that they can ignore you. Who knows a brand that is so good that cannot be ignored? So if, you are, if you're a realtor and your brand is so good, can you be ignored? Nope. Here's a recommendation for you that I would like you to take a note. I highly recommend that you take this book, So Good That They Can't Ignore You. This is a book, by, a book by Cal Newport. I read it myself. It's phenomenal because it gives you some insight in how do you become so good that you cannot be ignored. Remember, we're fighting for human attention. And quite frankly, I am not a big fan of TikTok little dancing. That's not marketing, okay? That's crying, screaming for attention. It's not professional in my opinion, but that's just me. I'm not saying it's a bad platform. I'm saying that's not necessarily your audience that you look for. But before you become so good, you have to understand how it actually works. People think that, not just think, it's based on my experience with clients. Sometimes they think it's placing a post on a particular platform is going to generate views and then those people are going to click and they become your customer. I will be very frankly, never happens. You may have two or three people click on that. It doesn't mean they all the way to the conversion. So you have to take them to a process. One growth formula that professional marketers are using and the company that I've also studied out there, we use the frame of work called R. This is a frame of work to draw key metrics, indicators 
around your business in relation to your marketing channel. What exactly does that mean? Well, acquisition, how to acquire my first customer. How do you acquire your first customer? Providing valuable information. And how do you value. provide valuable information? We have to identify the customers and then create mm -hmm. that value based on that client need. Yeah? So acquisition, how to acquire my first customer. Now that you acquire your first customer, it's great, so exciting. Activation, how do you convert them into leads or clients? Just because they saw a pretty picture doesn't mean they're gonna become your customer. So you have to take them from the acquisition, that means that they saw you all the way to activation. Now they become your client, it's even harder. How do you retain them to keep coming back to you? Because after all, the best client you can have is the one that's keep coming back because he trusts you already. There's no need to push them, right? So retention. And once they become in a, in a phase of retention, now they're going to talk about it, which you call it referral. How to make them spread the word that Dion mm -hmm. is one of the best title company that we know of it. So we gotta help them and provide value enough to them to take them to the point where they spread the word and they send referral to your business. And of course, all acquisition, activation, retention, referral generates revenue. Is that enough for one customer? No. How do you make more money? So in this, in a nutshell, this is what we call it R. That's why you have A A R R R R. This is the framework. So the reason I'm introducing you Google My Business is because we apply this framework very consistently. And before, we, before I give you the framework, which I want you to, to take the best out of it and the most so you understand what you have to do, I want to make sure you understand what really is Google My Business. I had clients where they're confusing Google My Business with Google AdWords, are two complete different scope of work and a whole different dimension of work what it takes. Google Ad and AdWords, you have to spend money. With Google My Business, it's free. What if I tell you that with Google My Business you get more viewers than you do with Google Ads? I'll show you. I'm so excited about this. So let's see, what is Google My Business? Google My Business is a free and easy tool for businesses and organizations to manage their online presence across Google, including search and maps. So it does three things at one time. It positions you on Google as a local market. It positions you in a search, so when people search, you pop right there in the Google search in local market. And it positions you on the maps. Since we're all curious, where do you think the most people spend their time? How accurate this is it? Very accurate. Is it bad? No, it's information. Now, what if these people will have books in their hand? Do you think they'll be so informed so quick? I don't think so. So now they understand that 98% of US people have a device. Even the older generation, right now, they're actually taking classes in how to set Facebook accounts. The new generation, they're ahead of us, I promise you. I've seen some talent where I was like, ooh, you taught me something today too. Now that you know, here's what we know, cold calling. You know that your client is on devices, right? But we tend to sometimes do the cold calling, which is no longer about cold calling these days. It's not a bad call to do that. But if you call somebody, make sure when they hang up, you know that they look you up. And when they look you up, what do you want them to find? And where do you think they're going to search? Google. Google. So cold calling is great. I thought this would be cool. Mm -hmm. So I put this meme right there. Harassing people into buying your product service. Hey, I just met you and this is crazy, but here's my sales pitch. So buy it, maybe. I thought that's funny. Alrighty, here's another two means that I thought they're fun. Picking up the phone and randomly calling people to sell. There's a lot of them that we heard. I don't know who you are. Seriously, what's your name? That's their reaction. If you expect to make a relationship like that, it used to work great. I'm not saying it's dead. All I'm saying is it's not enough. You have to be confident when you call them that once they hang up, they're gonna look you up, okay? So if you do the cold calling, make sure you're backed up on the other way because they will check you up and comparing you with your competitor. Or even a dead pitch to a stranger of which they're still not by from the person randomly calling. I totally have time to answer your call. 
Nope, they're not. Everybody's busy these days. And they're so fast to respond to text or social media rather than picking up a call. Thanks to many search engine optimizations out there, you have to understand that Google is one of the most still not take, taking advantage platform. And I want you guys to explore this, take advantage of it. And if you don't have success with it, call me. I'll, I'll do whatever I can at no cost just to, but I'm sure because you work for all the clients, it's gotta work for you, all right? So why should I have a, my business on Google My Business? Why should I have a profile? Well, to help customers find your business, tell them your story. Do you know, did you know that in Google My Business you can actually tell a story? Google My Business is no different than Facebook or Instagram. It has a section where you can post pictures, videos. You can actually add product. You can actually add an event. You can actually add pictures after closing with your clients, which that's what I say all the time. Add your photos in Google because that's where people are going to search more. Because if you go to Facebook and you post it on Facebook, do you think a client is going to scroll through? No. Not much. They lose their patience. Spam attention is about six seconds. Actually, it's shorter than a goldfish, which it's eight. So with Google My Business, uh, definitely is a place where you can display important information about your business, encourage and interact with your reviewers. So like in Instagram, you cannot interact with your reviewers. There's no place for having a review. On Facebook, there is, it's called recommendations now. It used to be different named. Most people don't even leave a recommendation on Facebook, very few. Is that enough to convince a consumer that you are legit? I don't think so. Google does such a good marketing in convincing the viewer that they are the most legit in having testimonials. One place when, where the viewer can see everything, your story, your important information about your business, you can interact with them in, in, in the reviews by replying to them. You can uh, provide crucial information about your business like hours, phone number, description, which also that helps with local search engine optimization. What does that mean? That means that every time somebody search and if you have a correct setup Google My Business profile, now you created a local search and engine optimization bypass where people can find you without spending the extra money on technical SEO, such as your website, just to pop in Google in the first page. With Google My Business, you actually can pop on the first page right away. Why should I have a profile for my business on Google My Business? Because it makes it easy for your business to be found and get directions to your location. You cannot get directions through Instagram. You can barely get directions to Facebook if it's friendly. So it's easy for them to, when they type, they see the map, they click on it, that gave fulfillment satisfaction instantly to that consumer. Therefore, you made him happy. You can add photos of your business, your product, provide contact details or a link to your website. Three, how is Google My Business going to make your business more revenue? A quality Google My Business listing is a simple way to increase your sales, increase your revenue and provide valuable insights about your customers. You have to understand the process. The process is by applying the R framework to it. It's a proven method to increase your revenue. So today I'm going to show you a few real examples of our clients. And for some of them, we've been working on Google My Business optimization over two years, resulting in dramatic increase in new customer retention. Here is, I'm gonna, and we're gonna go into it. This photo right here, as you can see, it's from my A plus production, uh, Google My Business, and it's an event. And this says, this was your most popul popular photo in that period. Meaning that this photo had about 400 views, but in, in my Google business, I, I had 156 photos. They got 4,058 total views in one month. You cannot get that amount of views on any platform unless you spend money. I spent nothing on it. So it's all about the mindset. Here's an example that a recent client we just signed for real estate. Ed and Remax knew me about two years ago. We've done some projects. I personally uploaded these photos in his Google My Business right here. Congratulations, your photo got 50 views. This is on one day. And if you're right here, you don't see, but it's Friday. 
So Friday, he received 50 views through Google My Business on that picture, right? Same picture, Saturday, he got 100 views. So how can you jump from a 50 views to 100 views in one day? That's good. Here's a restaurant that we're working about. Now we had him in three years with us, Okinawa. So you can see right there, 80 photos received 173,201 views in one month, in the last month. So this picture alone was seen 723 times. Just this alone. That tells me that that's how many people on Google My Business went and saw that picture. In one day, in a, mo in a month, 80 photos received 173,000 views. That's impressive to me for free. If I were to run an ad on Facebook and Instagram, I would have to spend at least $100 just to get that. Here's another one, Rory Bowen Orthodontics. 255 photos got 10,748 total views in the last month. This picture alone was the most popular for that particular month, and it generated 180 views. Emerald Coast Title Services Destin, your photos are viewed 7,405. Can you help me math? Because I'm losing it. You see the number out there? How much 165 photos that we've been putting in uh, Dion's account got 7,405 total views in the month. Here's another one of Rory's in another month. Your 241 photos got 8,922 total views in the last month. That's another number. So every month you generate this huge jump in numbers. This photo right here alone received 213 views. I've never seen that on Instagram or, or Facebook, unless I run an ad on it. Again, free. Here's Thomas, a new agent, well, not new agent, new client, very recently signed with us. Seven photos received 176 views in the last month. This photo alone, could this be you as a real estate agent? Here's another one for our AB Experts group. 47 photos received 871 total views in the last month. This was the most popular photo in that period. That tells you what the audience want to see. If that photo was the most popular, that means really people that's the content they want to see. So let's give them what's more popular. I'm going to let you just see those numbers so I don't bore you with it. Now there is another feature in Google My Business and those are screenshots so you guys can see they are real and there is even a date on it. Try call history on Google My Business. See who's calling your business from Google. In this case, we had 380 missed calls. <laughs> and from the period March 2020, so the period that we had in the March 2020 to October 2020, this was last year, that's how many calls we missed and that's how many calls we answered. 762, just from Google straight. That's a lot of calls. I think if you get that kind of calls, you should be good. Here's another one performance. Your post you've seen 20 times, your post you've seen 50 times. It adds up over time, doesn't it? Every single day. In this one, it says 472 people found you on Google from April 2021. They asked for directions, 14 visit my website, four called me. And of course, here you have more seafood report, but I want to give you the incentives. What does you can see what's going on with your audience and what, where they're coming from? Here's another feature from Brody. This particular patient, he messaged, I'm looking for an orthodontist for my daughter. We just returned from England and need to continue care. Sarah has braces currently. Thanks. Phone number. That's all the message was. Well, it was a follow up from the client and here's the conversation. And here's the answer. And guess what? He converted. Now he's a patient. Isn't that a fact that a person that simply messaged on Google My Business, you followed up with them, now they're in your funnel and they're a client. And here's a few more features. The same thing. A customer has reached out through your website, through Google. So they inform you what they do. They say, hey, this client came to you through Google My Business. 290 people found you on Google. Here's what they type. They even give you the keywords. So now you understand what they look for. Here's a good query search. They type my name, Ada. AB production, AB production. That's what people searched. What did you think they found? They found a lot. And therefore, I got a conversion from that because that one person called me. And now that person is a client. This month, it wasn't as great. This one did better. 
So you have to understand there is a fluctuation in your profile. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. But you're not going to get the same leads and the same customers that go from Google on Facebook. There are two different audiences most of the time. Imagine what would be like if you get so many views a month after month after month and you revert and you change a little bit your, your process in leveraging this platform by adding more to it, by actually learning more about it, by actually leveraging more than you spend so much time on Facebook. There has a lot of features that I suggest that you guys look into it. So here's the our framework. Acquisition, how to acquire my first customer. The first A is for acquisition. Acquisition is anywhere from awareness around your pro or product all the way to converting into a paid customer. That means that the client came to your profile, they become aware of your product or your service, they learn about it, and the goal is to convert them all the way to a paid customer. So a person that didn't know about you, now to pay you. Google My Business with the R frame actually proved that they bypass and the conversion are faster. Retention. Now that they got to your Google My Business, they saw your profile, they called you. Hey, Jamie, I saw your pictures on Google. I loved everything you do. Can we talk? I would like to meet you. You close them. Your next job is to retain them. How are you going to retain them? How to make sure they're coming back? The first R is about retention. It's all about getting your customer to come back. Here's what Google My Business does. There's one thing I've ex experienced it myself. Knows everything about you. Knows where you go knows what you do, knows what you like, knows everything you order. Now that Google developed a target around that, the more you teach your algorithm of that, the more this content is catered to that. Google knows everything about you. Activation, how to convert viewers into leads or clients. The second A stands for activation. You want to activate your customer by bringing them back to your business, or you want to activate visitors on your site to give you their email, sign up for promotion, or even make a reservation right on Google My Business. How does that work? Well, if they go to Google My Business and they click on your website and now they search more, and you have obviously in your website, fill in your contact info for more information. You just gave them that very, sh like right there on point on the finger, like, oh, I can just put my email. I have more questions for Dion. I'm going to go put my email. In their mind, the process already started to be converted because it's interest. All right. Referral. The next important thing is uh, to track is the second R, which stands for referral, word of mouth. Uh, well, here's an example. If I responded to this client, he's going to say, oh my God, Dr. Boy Roman or Dion was so responsive. You should go with them because they responded to us right away. They didn't say where. They just knew that you responded. That's all that mattered to them. And that is making them to spread the word about you. So here's how it works. The client that referred Dion or you or you, now it's word of mouth. One customer gets two customers, two customers gets four customers and then you get it from there. What we call this snowball effect. So if a client came to Dion, had a great experience, now he's gonna talk to another realtor. That realtor says, oh, I was referred by uh, this, by Elana. The Elana referred me to do, you know, Dion. I'm gonna go and close with him. Yeah, they have a great experience. Now they're spreading the worship too. And that's how you generate your growth. And the last R is how to make more money. There is another book I recommend that I read and it's really good. It's your network is your network. That means if you have a wide audience. Okay, here's simple. Why Billie Eilish or Kardashian are so famous? Their network worth a lot of net worth. So that's where you want to go. And I'm not saying like that, but you got to increase your audience. And if somebody says like, I believe actually she stepped out. She's like, I have 5,000 followers on LinkedIn. I'm like, great. That is good net worth. And the question I have for you, how much can you make off one customer over lifetime? Not much. Goes back to the same. You need more because if you have a customer, you cannot make a whole lot, is it? So one customer alone is not enough. So you have to think that way. Your, if you develop a good amount of net work, now you're gonna have a good amount of customers that will be coming in your lifetime that they will generate more revenue.
Who knew, if you have no websites, if somebody's not familiar with it, Google My Business does offer free websites. Now, they're not the best, but if you're in a position where you're like, hey, I'm just kind of starting out, I don't really have a lot of budget for, they do offer a free website. Here's a good one. You want to use metrics instead feelings when it comes to making marketing decisions. Use Google My Business. If you need help in how it can help you to make it more effective for you, there is a plan that I give out. It's called the Purple Plan. It has 145 pages and it gives you step by step and it gives you the frame of work and you have to basically copy that and do it yourself. But lastly, that I wanted to uh, address is Google My Business reports. Those reports are meant to be friendly for people that don't have the technical side of it. So. Uh, savvy so it's really easy to look into insights and measure them and that's what I said measure your reports you want to use metrics instead of feelings when it comes to uh, marketing decisions metrics tells you here's what I need to be this is what I need to do this is what people look for they give you the information you just have to provide that the integration is done any questions